Presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul is here, and he wants to throw out the current tax code and put in his idea. He joins us. Nice to see you, Senator. Great to be with you, Greta. First, just a thought on the report that the IRS would pay millions to tax cheat contractors. Well, it's not hard for me to believe. They also do this. Federal employees have back taxes of three and a half billion. Yeah, at three hundred eighteen thousand federal employees owe that. And you would think we have somewhat control over them. They work for the federal government. Why couldn't we deduct their taxes from their check? So that has been a proposal that's been floated, and we haven't been able to get it through. But how we you, should. How could we uh, not get that? Uh, I mean, how, I mean, if someone owes money, I mean, I don't understand why Al. Sharpton gets the red carpet at the White House either until he comes current as well, tax. It's amazing. But a lot of the good sense things you can't get through. I have a bill that would give bonuses to federal employees if they'll find savings and turn the money back into the Treasury. I get nothing but resistance from the appropriators. It's just insane. All right, let me ask you about your plan for taxes, which is what? Our plan is to get rid of the whole tax code. We looked at it and we said, could we make it better? And we became convinced that it's just so bad. It's so big and so ugly, we ought to get rid of the whole thing. Our current tax code is 70,000 pages, and we think it chases jobs and companies overseas. You know, Burger King's fled to Canada. Every month there's a new company reincorporating in Europe because of our taxes. So we got rid of the whole tax code, and we have one flat rate, 14.5 percent for a business tax and 14.5 percent for a personal income tax. What if you don't make much money? I mean, is there, is it, is, what if you make it, less? It kicks in at around $50,000. And for individual? Yeah. Currently, right now, uh, most individuals that make 50 or under don't pay any income tax. So under our system, they still wouldn't. But we go one step further because we want the working class to feel like they're part of this tax cut. And so we get rid of the payroll tax. Payroll will now be taxed as part of the business tax. But the individual worker, like if you make $40,000 a year, a couple with two kids, you'd actually get a $2,000 reduction by having not to pay any payroll tax. What about the revenue to satisfy like our debt or to pay for our national security? We would cut spending, and we'd cut it in a dramatic way. But people have said what kind, that, that, Well, what spending, though? I mean, because that matters. I mean, first of all, if you collect this $3.3 billion, they're owned by federal tax uh, uh, that would federal be a start. employees. That would be a good that'd start. That would be a start. But we'd actually eliminate departments. Department of Commerce is most about corporate welfare, I'd get rid of it all tomorrow. Department of Education ought to be done at the state and local level, I'd get rid of it. Department of Energy, I'd get rid of 95 percent of it. I'd still have nuclear regulation, I'd probably put that in with the Pentagon. So there's a lot of departments you could get rid of. HUD, you could give that back to the states and have the states involved in housing and not the federal government. Department of Interior, most of that could be downside. Have you, have you run the numbers on all this? Yep. Uh, the tax cut actually scored statically would be almost $3 trillion tax cut. But we would make up for it by cutting spending. I've introduced three five-year budgets that balance in five years with cutting significant amount of spending. But the thing is, is that the tax foundation is looking it would add a couple million jobs. It would add 10 percent to our GDP over 10 years. All right. Here's the promise. I talked to Senator Orrin Hatch, who's chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, and uh, who would like to change the tax code as well. He said he can't get 60 votes. No. And so, you know, if you came with your idea, you're president of the United States, let's say that you wanted your idea, um, you, st you still have to get it through the House and the it's Senate. An, it's an argument for term limits. It's an argument for a new Congress. And it's an argument for taking it to the American people in a national campaign, which I'm going to do. Because the thing is, we need to argue how are jobs created? Everybody wants to create jobs. Republicans, Democrats, they want to create jobs. I want to create jobs by leaving more money in the private sector and sending less money to Washington. Most Washington Republicans want revenue neutral tax reform. And I tell people if that's what we're for, I'm going home because revenue neutral doesn't do anything to help the economy. It just means you're shifting the burden. I know. I've just restarted. So 318,000 federal employees currently owe back the taxes. It's just 3.3 uh, billion. It's just incredible. Anyway, Senator, nice to see you, sir. Thank you.